There are many ancient sites dotted all around the world which indicate a far more advanced knowledge of architectural design than the funded studied civilizations in which they are attributed to. And although, as clear evidence mounts, evidence seemingly ignored, evidence which makes said fields of study look rather foolish, as they seemingly buckle to this new form of intellectual peer pressure, such as public free thinking. Thankfully, a rather logical perception, their attempts to attribute advanced knowledge to primitive culture diminishes. As we delve further into this lost history, we reveal more and more compelling links which cross the continents of our planet. There are many, at first perceived as humorously perplexing ancient feats of building, that after further reflection with an artistically motivated eye, reveal an incredible story. These tiny details were added to demonstrate their sheer prowess. Prowess, we suspect, was inspired by an even greater and even more ancient civilization. A nearly impossible proposition to comprehend, yet one we strongly feel is now a high possibility. Set upon a small hill 1.8 kilometers northeast of the Stay Field within Ethiopia, Gazing upon the mountains of Atwa are what modern academia claims are two tombs. Attributed to the 6th century, the location indeed contains the remains of King Caleb and his son King Jebri Meskel. However, like many other unexplained sites around the world, we not only postulate that these ruins were claimed as the work of a less capable, more modern civilization, but there is also compelling evidence to support such claims. They show the same uncanny sophistication, using irregularly shaped stones, somehow fitted together as if made to measure, as found in Egypt, Peru, and many other places around the world. Constructed in a self-locking design, which has seemingly allowed them to survive the eons. Who built these incredible structures within Ethiopia? Were they, as the evidence suggests, the same people who were responsible for the pre-Incan ruins found within Peru? We find the evidence to suggest such highly compelling. We have, in the past, explored, although albeit briefly, the astonishing, perplexing, and as yet unexplained ancient ruins that can be found within the ancient city of Aksum, located within modern-day Ethiopia. One of the main reasons we have repeatedly touched upon this exquisite site, a place located so far from the academically claimed civilizations, who some daring academics would even attempt to claim as the builders of such. Its remarkably remote location alone could be seen as a smoking gun in regards to a conspiracy regarding the chronology of man. However, what we find even more incredible regarding this site, the fact that the site is renowned for its obelisks, often named in mainstream reports as the site of a singular obelisk of Axum, instead of the accurate plural, obelisks of Axum. A ruse mystery history suspects is due to the toppled obelisk. Not only are there many obelisks at the site, so sharing it online as merely the site of the quote, obelisk of Axum, is not only inaccurate, but we feel clearly an attempt to stifle people's discovery of this toppled obelisk, which has been estimated to have weighed hundreds, possibly upwards of a thousand tons in weight, once carved, transported, and erected at the site. Located in a place now known today as Axum City, it is located within the northern regions of Ethiopia, found within the northern Stele Park. 
Furthermore, the obelisks alone contain even more evidential features to indicate that these structures were not only built by a lost civilization, but the same civilization, possibly responsible for the Great Pyramid's construction and many other ancient ruins throughout the world, for these perplexing false doors permeate the world's ancient foundations. Any ancient site which we come across during our explorations of antiquity, adorned with false doors, we know are extremely old ruins. False doors permeate nearly all ancient sites and ruins throughout the globe, and their true purpose for being remains a complete mystery. Additionally, if the fact that false doors indicative of the ancient pyramid builder's architectural signature and the toppled obelisk weighing hundreds of tons is not enough compounding evidence to convince you that the site was once the work of a lost civilization. The underground chambers at the site, actually created using polygonal masonry, should be the final nail in the investigative pursuit for all, thus directly connecting polygonal builders to architectural signatures found throughout the globe, most notably ancient Peru, even Giza and the Great Pyramids. Who were these elusive builders? Obelisks are clearly indicative of an ancient Egyptian construction, yet regardless of the reality that this is a rarely shared factual lead, connecting Axum to the pyramid builders themselves, and indeed the makers of the false doors, and the additional polygonal masonry, is an incredibly interesting link. Due to previous research, we know particularly regarding the casing stones in Giza, the polygonal casing stones upon the pyramids were of a significantly younger age than the highly eroded sandstone pyramids. Yet, here it is in the same build which displays false doors, a feature which does, in fact, date from the same era, a perplexing enigma to unravel. It is a mystery which we find highly compelling. At this present time within history in which we find ourselves, there still exists a smorgasbord of ancient, advanced ruins, which can be found all over the world. Inexplicable feats of ancient engineering, advanced as yet unexplained ruins, which we believe are to be found upon every continent of Earth, even including the now buried landmass of Antarctica. Many of these surviving relics remain unexplained due to currently academically claimed chronological timelines for the history of man. A seemingly incomplete story, that due to the funded nature and thus rigidity of such opinion, the general public is sold a fairy tale, with more modern, less capable groups being the only options when it comes to claims as to an origin. However, as we so frequently share here upon our channel, Many anomalous features of countless ancient sites all over the globe remain impossible to explain. These advanced anomalies come in many shapes and sizes, yet they are most commonly found to be of enormous size, with clear evidence of the requirement of precision, hardened, technologically advanced tools, often the only viable explanation as to how such constructions were completed. Tools and technologies which are more recent, well-studied ancestors did not have at their disposal, and thus were simply incapable of completing such feats regardless of what academia claims. One of the largest and indeed most intriguing examples of these ancient feats of stone building can be found at the ancient side of Aksum within Ethiopia. Originally the capital of the Kingdom of Aksum, this enigmatic place is currently understood to be one of the oldest continuously inhabited places in Africa. It is a site we have covered in the past, with our initial focus being upon the as yet unexplained polygonal masonry, which litters its construction, and the clearly advanced nature of its supposed underground tombs. However, there is another area of significant interest at Axum one which we seemingly overlook during our initial research. They are known as the obelisks of Axum. It seems academia is only willing to share publicly a limited overview of the site, conveniently noting only those which are still standing. Even naming the site the obelisk of Axum, rather than the accurate plural obelisks, 
possibly in an attempt to conceal the true size and indeed past grandeur of another site, which is known within very small circles of research as the toppled obelisk of Axum. And our suspective motive behind this subtle deception will soon become apparent. The largest still standing obelisk, in which the site is named after, is 21 meters in height and around 160 tons in weight. And although this is still a remarkable weight for an ancient civilization to have successfully worked with, the now toppled broken obelisk is estimated to have once weighed in at 500 tons when originally in one piece. An additional area of interest regarding the design and possible past function of the obelisks is the presence of false doors. These enigmatic features, found at ancient sites all around the planet, most notably Peru and Egypt, were claimed by the Egyptians in particular to be portals, a threshold between the worlds of the living and the dead, through which a deity or the spirit of the deceased could enter and exit. Not only is Axum unquestionably an astonishing ancient ruin, possessing strong supporting evidence for a past highly capable now lost civilization, but it is also seemingly ignored by an academia who would rather not have to attempt an explanation of these remarkable underlying characteristics. It is undoubtedly highly compelling. Within the country of Ethiopia, some seriously old megalithic ruins can be found, many of unknown age. For example Tia, located in the Sodo region of Ethiopia. An archaeological marvel, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, remarkable for its large stone pillars. But imagine the surprise of initial explorers when they stumbled across an entire church, in the shape of a Templar cross, completely carved out of the ground made of a type of volcanic tuff, I'm sure its initial rediscovery would have come with considerable archaeological interest. Who could have carved such a structure, straight out of the rock, or indeed why? It is known as the Church of St. George, and is largely thought to have been constructed around 1200 AD, yet, alas, no one really knows. The Church of St. George is one of 11 monolithic churches in Lalibela, a city in the Amhara region of Ethiopia. Originally named War War, the historical and religious area was named Larabella after the King Jebemiskel Larabella, of the Zaga dynasty, who supposedly commissioned its construction. Although like the pharaohs of Egypt, he may have just laid claim to the impressive ancient structures, which resided in the region, long before himself. He may have also been attributed with the act due to him being regarded as a saint by the Ethiopian Orthodox Tuahito Church. No one can really explain how he could have built it, and many religious followers believe he received instruction from God. With many ancient sites upon earth, if researched heavily enough, reveal evidence that they predate their modern held suspected builders. For instance the amazingly designed ancient site of Puma Punku, which contains stones created in weight-bearing shapes, with no more to ever being used, yet the structures were earthquake-proof. These structures were said even by the Incas to have been there before them, they believed they were constructed by the gods themselves. The only conclusions that can be made from such structures including the Church of St. George is that the builders were highly sophisticated. Enlightening artifacts may vanish, but thankfully, the ancients built structures to last. And a Templar church carved into the stone ground, in the middle of Ethiopia, of unknown origin, is a very curious structure indeed.